All right, now we're going to learn how to enter data into our list. So here we have a problem that we're going to be working through. It may take us a few videos to get through there. Um, but our very first instructions say draw a scatter diagram by hand and using a graphing utility. Okay, so here is our problem right here. If you need to pause and take a minute to write those down, go ahead and do that now. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my calculator view so that we can start putting this in. All right, Before, whenever we go to put data in, the very first thing we should have done already is to clear out our list. If you need to refresh on how to do that, you may want to review that video. In order to add data to a list, here's what we're going to do. We're going to hit our stat button, which is again right here. And then you see that the first option comes up is number one edit. So we're going to select number one, or we can just hit enter since it's already highlighted. And now we're showing up with our list that should not have anything in them because you should have already cleared those lists out. Now my cursor is actually over here in L2, so I'm going to arrow over to L1 so that my highlighter is here. And I'm going to enter in those numbers that we saw a while ago that were in our X list. You want your X list to be L1. So I'm going to enter these numbers one at a time. 3, and then I'm going to hit Enter, and you'll notice that it popped it down to the next slot and it's ready for more data. 5, Enter. 7, Enter. 9, Enter, 11, Enter, and 13, Enter. Now those are the six numbers that um, we had for our X's in that um, picture that I showed you just a few minutes ago. Hopefully you wrote those numbers down. If not, you may want to re rewind a little bit. Now for the Y's, we're going to put those in L2. So I'm going to use my right arrow key to arrow over to L2, and I'm going to put in all of the Y values that I had which were 0, enter, 2, enter, 3, enter, 6, enter, 9, enter, and 11, enter. Now you always want to make double check um, before you finish here that you've entered in each one of these numbers correctly. If you enter in a number incorrectly, it absolutely will affect um, your data. So you, you want to just double check really quickly to make sure that all of your numbers are correct. Okay, so just to review how we entered in these numbers into our list, remember that I'm going to go back to my home screen here. To get to that screen, we went to Stat, and then we chose Number 1 Edit, and then we should have had Empty Clear List, and we start putting in our data. The X values go in List 1, the Y values go in List 2. And even if you're not dealing with X's and Y's, you could say the independent variable goes in list 1, the dependent variable goes in list 2. Now, we'll finish this out and figure out what to do with these numbers um, in the next video.